Okay, so sometimes you have to find vector components. A lot of times this happens in physics and engineering for those engineers and physicians inside of you. Just kidding, that'd be a physicist. Um, and what you have to do is you have to decompose a vector into two different components. And so we went through adding different components and graphing two different components. And so a big thing, a big place where this is used is actually your, when we're talking about force. So I know in physics you deal a lot with force, and what you're going to have is two vectors, a w sub 1 and a w sub 2. According to this picture, your w sub 1 is parallel to the, or it's a force that is needed that go, uh, to keep the boat from rolling down the ramp, or whatever object it is to go from, from rolling down the ramp. So this is your force to, that actually keeps your boat from sliding. Um, the other force, your W sub 2, is the force that, um, that the tires must withstand against the ramp. So these two vectors are actually orthogonal. So they have a 90 degree angle here. That's what orthogonal means. These are very useful when we're going to have to find the force required to keep something on a ramp. So if we have two vectors, U and V, such that u is equal to w sub 1 plus w sub 2. So that means your, this would be like your force vector, is what that would be. All right, force is your w sub 1 plus w sub 2. And it tells you right here, w sub 1 and w sub 2 are orthogonal. And w sub 1 is parallel to your vector, okay, parallel to your vector b. And then your w sub 1 and w sub 2 are vector components of u. So your w sub 1 is your projection. That is your projection of u. In order to find out what your w sub 2 is, you would just take your u minus w sub 1. So if you look at this equation up here on the top, okay, if you were to solve this equation for w sub 2, then all you do is just subtract w sub 1 to both sides. Because you're going to be able to find your w sub 1 by using your projection. And then you're going to know what your u is because that will be given to you. So the way to find your projection is of u onto v. Okay, notice how the wording is here. The projection of u onto v is given by the dot product of u dot v. And then you have to take the magnitude of v squared times your vector v. So for example five, let's find our projection of u onto v. Okay. And we're gonna write u as the sum of two orthogonal vectors, one of which is a projection of u onto v. So we need to find our projection of u, uh, u onto v. So that means w sub one, which is your u dot v all over the magnitude of v squared times your vector v. So let's find this bad boy out. So u dot v, that is going to be on top 3 times 8 plus 4 times 2 all over your magnitude of v squared. So you're going to say 8 squared plus 2 squared. And this is all squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by your vector v, and your vector v is a2. So basically, out front, your projection, or everything that's in the brackets here, is just going to be a, a scalar <coughs> that you're going to have to simplify. So if we have 24 plus 8, that's going to give us a 32, over, well, the square root of 64 plus 4 is 68. So the square root of 68 squared is just 68. So we're going to have 32 over 68. And we're going to have to multiply this by your vector 8, 2. Now remember, you could simplify this 32 over 68, which if you divide each of those by 4, that's going to give you a, an 8 over 17 times your vector 8, 2. Let me, let me just move this, a little, little space here. So this would be 8 over 17 times your vector, 8, 2, which means your projection 
is going to end up being 8 times 8 is 64. Ooh, that was a nice arrow. So you're going to get a 64 over 17, comma, 16 over 17. So that is your projection. Now, in order to figure out what your, if we had to write these as a the sum of two orthogonal vectors, then what we have to do is now we have to find out what your w sub 2 is. So remember, if, to find your w sub 2, that is just taking your u minus w sub 1. <clears throat> so our u vector is 3, 4 minus 64, 17, comma 16 over 17 which is equal to once you uh, change all these I guess we better do that because I don't want some of you to be freaked out about not knowing how to add and subtract fractions so we'll make this a 16 over 17 minus you have 64 over 17 comma 16 over 17 so all I did was find your common denominator from over here. This ends up giving, giving you a negative 13 over 17, comma, 68 minus 16 is a 52 over 17. So that is your W sub 2. And if we want to represent these two vectors, the sum of the two orthogonal vectors, because remember these are going at, they're going to meet at a 90 degree angle, then these two vectors would be u is equal to your 64 over 17 comma 16 over 17 plus negative 13 over 17 comma 52 over 17, and if you add these together you will find out 64 minus 13 is a 51. 51 over 17 is 3. 16 plus 52 is 68. 68 over 17 is 4. So there is your vector u. So we just verified that our w sub 1 and our w sub 2 add up to give us our vector u.